Today in the boot guy, we are looking at the Timberland, the classic yellow boot, number 10061. I right, believe it or not, this boot has been a widely requested review of mine to do. Basically, to sit down, look at it, talk about it with you guys. And basically what I'm, I know you guys have wanted me to do, you've wanted me to tear this thing apart and say what a piece of crap it is. You know what, unfortunately, once you hold a pair and once you look at a pair and you start comparing the materials and the way they construct the pair of these, as opposed to some of the stuff that we all hold in really high regard, it actually is a really well-made, well-put-together, and well-designed boot. So first and foremost, what we really need to look at here is we really need to look at the leather. Now, they're using a really thick, heavy-duty leather in order to build this boot, and they don't stop there. They actually line the inside of the boot with a really nice soft glove leather, something you would find on a nice pair of horseback riding or western gloves. The same hand of leather they're using inside. It's buttery soft. It's really nice. When you first slip your foot inside a pair of these, you can actually feel that it's a well-made boot. Now, outside of the iconic look and just who we see wearing them and what they represent in that world, that kind of puts a bad taste in our mouth when it comes to these boots. But when you think about it as what we think of as a work booth, I mean, when we see a guy working in any sort of movie or anything like that, the one thing we can always be assured of is he's going to be wearing a pair of wheat boots. Now, I call the color wheat. A lot of you guys call the color yellow. I'm calling it wheat just because of the history the boot has for me. First time I saw a pair of these boots was in an American Eagle outlet in the early 80s. I'm gonna go with about 82 or 83, when American Eagle was still just a regular outdoor store, something similar to an REI, before they became a young man's fashion dumping ground. I first saw these boots there. It was in a display where they were sitting submerged in a tub of water. And it was a translucent tub, so you could look inside and they were really pushing the whole waterproof thing. And that brings us to the next part about these boots. They're 100% waterproof. They are seam seal taped and just cured. The leather itself is treated and cured with a waterproofing chemical. Every place where the needle goes through on the back side, there is a glue. So that glue is going to be something like this. When you feel it, it's going to feel like rubber cement. If you can fish off a piece of it, you'll see what I'm talking about. But if you really want to feel the seam sealed and just the gluing of the boot, when you take the laces out of a fresh pair and you fold back the gusseted tongue, and you will be impressed by the tongue. If you've never held a pair of the 10061s before, and the first thing you do is you pull them out of the box and you feel that tongue, you're gonna to be impressed because there's a lot of good boot companies out there, boot companies that we hold in high regard that make some high-end boots that actually use a much thinner leather tongue, that it doesn't give you the beef and the shaping that should come from a good heavy leather tongue. But back to the waterproofing, right? When you stick your hand inside the boot and you run it along the laces here and along the gusset, just put your fingers down into there, almost to the vamp of the boot. Remember the vamp of the boot is this front section here inside and you'll feel the rubber cement. You'll feel how they glued those seams together. Now, the glue that they're using is gonna keep a lot of water out. It's gonna keep water from penetrating in these parts, especially in the gusseted parts. Now, the sole on these boots is a heavy classic lug. They say it's a 10% recycled combo mix with other urethane materials, which is great if you think that the, they're trying to be more environmentally conscious, if that's your thing. All right, so the Timberlands have got that going for them. The construction is a direct attached construction, so they build the upper first, and then the upper is directly attached to the sole through a heat process with all kinds of heavy-duty glues in order to make this thing more flexible and more pliable 
and last a little bit longer for the longevity of the actual wearing of the boot. Now the boot is a pure icon. When it comes to fashion, when it comes to urban fashion, this boot is going to be iconic. You can get away with wearing this thing with almost anything, especially if you're more of a fashion tista. If you're one of those guys who really puts a lot of time and energy into their style and how they present themselves in public, this boot is definitely one of those things that you need to have in your collection. Now, the last thing I gotta bring up about this boot is because I'm very familiar with it. I've seen it go through the generations. I've seen it become a fashion thing. I've seen it go from the work world outdoor world and become a fashion thing the thing I have to mention about this is that Timberland has really stepped up their game on the inside of the boots and you know I love pulling out insoles so what Timberland has done is they've taken an anti-fatigue a very thin anti-fatigue insole they lined it with leather and cambrel so you're getting two really nice surface materials on top of this wonderful anti-fatigue urethane and this is phenomenal urethane this is high responsive high energy return and this is a really nice touch to a boot that's like this to a boot that is actually just considered more of a toy and more of a collector's item timberland has done a very good job of making a boot an actual boot no matter who wears it or who uses it the Timberland 10061 is actually a boot that you can depend on to be a quality boot. Hey, to all my subscribers out there who thought that I was really going to beat the crap out of this boot and talk about it as a piece of crap, I am completely sorry. Once you take an up close and personal look at a pair of these, after seeing as many boots that I have seen on a really close and personal basis over the last 30 years, it really takes on a whole new idea. It's understandable why kids in urban environments gravitate towards these because you can't wear gym shoes in the wintertime. In most of the places where we see young men wearing these and young women wearing these as fashion items, they are in colder climate cities and whatnot, like New York, Chicago, Minneapolis, Boston, places like that where the Timberland is always on somebody's feet. It's easy to understand. It's just a really good boot and it fits really well into that urban landscape. So that's the Timberland 10061 classic wheat boot that is waterproof. Hey, if you're currently wearing a pair of these Timberlands, please comment below and let guys know exactly why it is you wear these and where you wear them. And whether or not you've come to depend on these as your winter footwear and as a piece of your fashion wardrobe. Hey, if you're interested in seeing some up close and personal photos of these boots, swing by my website, thebootguy.com. There I'll have a blog posting titled 100061 for the stock number. I will have high resolution detailed photos of all the nooks and crannies of the boot, inside the boot, the insole, and the hard footboard that's inside this boot. Hey, please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below because it really helps out. And remember, if you're on Instagram or Twitter, follow me there. All week long, I find beautiful boots. I take some interesting photos. I put them out there so that we can engage in conversations about them. Hey, if you're about to pick up your first pair of Timberlands and you got questions about size and fit and whether or not it's the right boot for you, if there's something better out there, remember, you can always shoot me over an email. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.